bare knuckle boxers, gangsters, drug dealers. I mean, you wouldn't want to stay around theirs, would you? Well, guess what? I got an invite. I'm moving in with some of the country's most dangerous men so we can find out how they sleep at night. And judging by this mob, there's gonna be tears before bedtime. Even, ladies and gents. Oh no, got to change the um. Got to change the resolution. Hey, it's going who that whoever that was. I'm oh, man Colossus, mate. Oh, I forgot to change the um resolution before the stream. It's too late now. Because it's a bit. Bit weird looking, isn't it? I don't get why it's changed either. Anyways, at least we got something mildly interesting to paint today. At least we got something mildly oh, shut interesting up, to paint today. Bit of an echo there. Whoops. All right. Yeah, obligatory. Get on YouTube's as well if people wouldn't mind. Just mute me in the background. And do me a favour. All right, Morty. Morty, Morty. Oh Jesus, that looks crazy, doesn't it? With that white, white paper. Bit. Hey Chad, how's it going buddy? So we do have, we have a, we have somebody on YouTube, amazing. <laughs> the um, the first stage of the Blood Shih Tzu style Mortarium is the most fun part. And the most messy part. Neuro, mate, how's it going? Yeah, I feel a bit, um, I feel a bit like it's going to be a bit of a letdown for um, the um, YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> I was meant to do this on the weekend, um, and um, obviously I've just had the just had the chavy, and I? I've just had a little kid, and you know, just trying to get things, just anything, you know what I mean? Just trying to get anything like arranged and stuff is just a pain. Right, let's get the let's get the fun stuff done. Um, I need some black paint actually. What we do first? Oh, we, oh shit! See, I thought I was all ready to go, but you never are. Oh, something. It's always something. Hey, how's it going, Zen? Right, Zen, so you know when the frogs are getting done, mate, I've got Morty and the lizard to finish, and then I'm going to get started on the um, frogs, mate. And normally Morty's, I can get quite a quick turnaround on. Oh mate, how was how was the states, my mate, my man? Right, let's just start with um
need like a bright green, but not Goblin green would be the perfect green. Hey, Essex, mate. Goblin green would be the perfect green, but I'm not wasting that on um, what I'm going to do in a second. Well, I think this might work quite well, actually. Let's try. Let's try this first. Hey, Essex, I hear that. Um, are you going to have you had your battle with um Steve and Dread and stuff like that? Yeah. I wouldn't mind if if you haven't done that already, man. I mean, if you're coming down Steve O's way, I'm like ten minutes, fifteen minutes on the train. Wouldn't mind coming around and meeting up for a beer or something, man. Or meeting you guys after the battle or That didn't work at all, did it? Let's use a different brush. Congrats on the little snotling, yeah man. Little garfling, little girl. Annie her name is. Is that that works in Chinese and English? Yeah, I'd like to, um, I've said this, like, you know, we're in a new year now. I've said this a million times before. I'd like to get an actual, um, what's it called? I was going to say time period, but I don't mean time period. A uh, schedule going this year. I'm thinking maybe two painting streams a week. Two painting streams a week and a music stream every two weeks on the Friday. Are you down Steve O's ends in February? Are you? Well, um, I'm not gonna. Steve O's quite a. Um, private guy isn't he so I'm not going to say where Steve-O lives but everyone knows where I live I live in Pompey in it and where Steve-O is mate I could jump on the train and be if you're going to sort of Steve-O's neck of the woods I could be there in 10-15 minutes I said maybe go out have a few bevies or something or even you lot there's not much in way of decent places to go where Steve-O lives. He lives in a bit of a posh wanky area, doesn't he? You could even jump on the train, mate. Come down my way. Yeah, I've even uploaded a couple of YouTube videos, I don't know if people have noticed. And um, Primark, Primarks at the Pub is in the very, very final stages of being completed. So the first episode of that, I'm hoping to drop by the end of the month. I couldn't, if I push it, I'll probably be able to do it by the end of this week if I wanted to. And actually, I've worked out 
a kind of new way to do some stuff and I'm actually thinking of picking up um, Zen's orc story again because I've found something that's gonna make my editing a lot easier basically the subtitles there are things that will do the subtitles for you basically automatically these days and um, I've been working on that so when it comes to um, the actual making of the video itself for like the orc videos I love doing all of the the voices and the actual video bit itself but the I hated doing the subtitles and I think that subtitles are a necessity really for um, you know an actual story so now I've found a way that I can kind of do that in a reasonably easy way that isn't going to take you know a million, a million years of my time up I'm going to potentially start working on one of those I mean, I'm getting all excited for it now, but we all know what's going to happen. It will just get buried in the algorithm, probably. But there we go. I've, I've come to peace. I've come to peace now. I'm never going to be, I'm never going to be YouTube famous, or never going to be one of the the big 40k streamers. I'm just too, I'm too brash, mate. You know, let's face it. I don't, I don't cover anything that's, you know, the hot topic or anything like that, and. I don't chase that algorithm enough, so yeah, that's that's that. <laughs> I've made peace with it. People are wondering what I'm doing here. Yeah, all will, it will all make sense as the model starts to fit together. When was the last 40k orc meetup? How long ago was that now? I need to give these nerglings and stuff a bit of a splatter as well. Absolutely rinsing this contrast paint, which is expensive, but I really don't enjoy contrast red very much. So I don't mind don't mind using it. Hey Dave, how's it going buddy? Eighteen months ago, to Petersfield. Not. Why do I always say Petersfield? It's not Petersfield, is it? Peterborough. Was that? Was that when the last one was? Or the like? Well, the, the one that I went to. Obviously, you've had a couple since then, haven't you? Oh, Dave, mate, are you looking forward to coming back to the? to the homeland mate and do you know where you're going to be living now Dave? Please tell me you're not going to London mate. I 
Right. Need my coat to arms. Maybe not. I was going to say, I need my um, coat to arms fake goblin green, really, but I can't see it. Let's go with this Vallejo instead. And Peterborough sucks, chaps. Sorry if you're from Peterborough. Rich coming from a man from Portsmouth, but seriously, Peterborough, mate. Don't need to go there anytime soon again. I think like where the um, the 40k orc discord is um, so popular, it's kind of superfluous. To, if you if you're an orc guy in that gang, it seems almost pointless to have your own discord. You know what I mean? That would be that would be my take on that. And if anyone wants to get on a bit more of an old hammer related discord and you're new to the channel links are below to my discord i make as much effort as i can on there but I mean, there's only there's only a certain amount of hours in the day isn't there? I mean, I do really, I need to kind of sort out like just regularity with my streams and things, which is why I keep talking about a, um, a schedule, which is, oh, I've never had. Thing is, though, is when I have a schedule, I don't want to end up disappointing people, like um, putting off this Mortarian model, like I have been just. I don't want to feel constricted. Does that make sense, chat? I mean, really, if I wanted everything to take off as, as much as I'd hope, I'd have to... Uh, really kind of just live live online wouldn't I? Right, I might just need to go and wash my hands quick but that is part one part one of Morty is complete we'll have to let that let him dry a little bit Didn't that? Yeah, mate. People, people like my Mortys for commissions, mate. 
because I paint them nice and dirt, real dirt, right? Yeah, neurotic. That's right. I do. I, I do do nerdy things without worshiping it. It's not what what people want, man. They want excitement, don't they? And uh, I'm like the opposite <laughs> of excitement when it comes to modern GW, right? Wrong. Perfect meme time in there, Colossus. Thanks. Oh yeah, I suppose during the pandemic, I mean, that's when I started my channel and, and all these discords and stuff and, you know, but it's such effort. Yeah, I keep forgetting to change the, um, keep forgetting to change, keep forgetting, forgetting to change the donation goal to, uh, you know, some some tits. You will be punished! What, punished for having tits? That's not very PC Colossus, is it? Mate! Yeah, so if anyone wants to get interactive memes on the go, I'm afraid Patreon is the is the place to do that. And I can get that set up for you. Actually need to set up Josh from um, Crown of Command. I need to set his memes up. And I'd really like to get him set up for the music stream as well, but that's um that's another technical problem for another day. Yeah. Are you sure about that? Oh yeah, Essex boys, man. I mean, I've been through the ringer. It's not over yet, though. I mean, you know, we, you know, she's got, she's got a visa. The, you know, we're married now. The little ones here. So yeah, huge difference. But you know, it's it really, it's just the start, isn't it? I need to actually make a wash. Making a wash is uh, slightly stressful. Hopefully that is not too thick. We'll see.
And by the end of this, like Morty's going to be absolutely dripping in wash. We're going to be doing multiple, multiple coats of this as well. You know, the secret thing about Nurgle, I think, is that it's kind of easy-ish to paint. Even you can make you can make Nurgle look good, even if you've got like, you know, if your brush control and you know fancy words like that are, are not so great. You know, I th I really think that painting real Nurgle is more about technique than actual skill if that makes sense because there's so much that you can do just with like knowing a few different techniques and just slapping the paint onto you know like um like nurgle if you want the real nasty sort of looking looking nurgle which is in my opinion how Nurgle should look. I've said multiple times, I really just do not like the modern GW take on Nurgle at all. Like the heavy metal painting. And even like the sort of cutesiness of the models as well, like having cute little Nurglings. Like Cute snotlings and funny snotlings, yes, I'm down with that, but I feel like nurglings have taken over the space that snotlings used to inhabit for that. And for me, that just, that's not, that just doesn't fit with Nurgle for me. Like, because... You know, loads of people say, like, oh, Nurgle, it's like, oh, yeah, it's like the kindest chaos, chaos god and stuff like that. I'm like, are you mental, mate? Like, I think Nurgle is the most horrific out of all of them. I think if there was any... If I was going to fall to any chaos, man, it would have to be Slanish. I'd be a noise marine, wouldn't I? And so the... I'm going to go with purple wings on this one. As the client said that he wanted purple to be like the secondary colour. So I'm thinking maybe like a light purple. Mate, with all my music and stuff, I'd definitely be a noise marine, surely. Now I was going to actually... Um, I was going to thin that purple down, but I don't think it's necessary. Now looking at that, looks kind of that's about the right shade, I think. And like I said, he's going to be dripping with wash, and that's like actually kind of a good thing, you know. Because the drips and the stuff just add more to the the overall effect as well. Look, whenever you get to use a brush this size, 
on you know 40k minis Anybody new to the channel? Anyone new out there? If you are new, come and say hello, please. I do answer questions and the like. So what's everyone's opinion on the, um, the scalping saga that everyone's banging on about on every single YouTube channel at the moment? How come you've got a load of Death, Death Guard Essex? Ah, uh, cheers, Ollie. Yeah, I was just saying earlier, it's um, a little little girl. I mean, maybe you'll see her on on stream at some point. I don't know, I kind of like want to keep that side of my life away from the internet, you know what I mean? People are just twats, aren't they? Scalping done to fair. Like things like the Orc models and stuff. Like, you don't know, it's always Space Marine stuff, isn't it? That gets absolutely rinsed, right? If it might be worth getting getting the hair dryer from the other room, actually. No, it's gonna batter everyone's eardrums a little bit. Yeah, we've all got massive piles of shame, I'm sure. I've got models that I bought and I'm like, right, I'll do a quick turnaround on those, give them a quick paint job and um, get them up on eBay or something, but just had no time at all. Bought this massive Necron thing that I really want to try and repair it's worth like 120 quid or something stupid like that and like I know I can just like do a piece of piss paint job on that and get it up and sold
Yeah, I might well have to get the old hairdryer out. Otherwise, we're going to be here forever. I suppose I could start on the purple cloak. Mate, I'm always up for having a laugh at, at GW, mate. Neuro. Everyone knows that on this channel, surely. Like I said, I just don't get the the way that people just like can accept anything that they do and like love everything that they do. It just like like what is up with that, man? It's so weird to me that like you know, like they can do they like they can literally do no wrong, you know? It's like people just want to consume it, like just continuously consume and consume and like not ask any questions, like, you know. And that's such a like strange state of affairs. Like foaming at the mouth is is exactly how I imagine them, Mitch. I mean, what we're talking about is like really quite predatory business practices, aren't they? And like. Just to roll over, accept them. I don't get them. Or like to even like you know, to dare, to dare question it is is enough to bring down, you know, the uh, the wrath of the neck beard, right? Just for questioning something or saying that you don't like how such and such a, a thing is going. Just like get accused of gatekeeping or whatever that, and whatever that even means. You know, just because you say that you don't like something or something or that you preferred something it was in the past. Is that really gatekeeping? Perhaps I'm just too old, eh? I'm the problem. I'm the problem with modern 40k, is it? See, the thing is, though, man, is that I am a GW fanboy, do you know what I mean? And I have been for a long time. But just, you know, just because I like something doesn't mean that I have to uh, tow the party line, essentially, continuously, right? Do you know what I mean?
a little very odd. I mean, seriously, if you wanted like a battle-ready Mortarian, like you could knock one, you could knock one of these out in a few hours, I reckon. Like, if you just wanted like battle-ready, or however it's you know described these days. But like, you know, a decent bet already, or well, not just like some crap. Like, I mean, you know, you could paint the base and put some metal on this one down now, and then you could play that, couldn't you? Speaking of bet already and stuff like that, man, I increasingly read you know, in comments and stuff like that, that people are like the, um, you know, the, the sort of spin towards competitive, competitive gaming of 40k is, is killing it. I mean, what do you guys reckon of that? I mean, like, when you take all the sort of random damage effects and stuff like that out of 40k I just wonder like you know blast templates and stuff like that you know I just wonder what are you actually left with as you know I, I've always said it man like you know back in the day there was nothing more fun than just like going right give you plasma full power roll to see if it blows up no it didn't blow up whacking like the huge blast template down or like throwing like a vortex grenade or something like that and just watching it roam around the battlefield sucking random goons up into the warp you know those sort of random elements now would be like frowned upon wouldn't they especially with orcs I mean that's what orcs were kind of all about things like the shock attack wave gun and like all the weird funny things that could happen you know on the dice rolls with that who just slashed Simerson anyway and what was the reason for the Simerson slash Oh, it's been a while, chaps. We're um, entering, we're entering dog shit stage right now. And I reckon Mortarian will stay in dog shit stage all the way until um, basically all the way until I start picking out the um, gold in the armor. Strafe chafe me, how's it going buddy? I said I really wanted to start this yesterday.
if I can get in a stream tomorrow, we'll probably be doing more of the um, apocryphy. I'm hoping that because you know I've done three or four of these now I've painted three or four Mortarians I'm gonna you know I'm just kind of naturally hoping that I'm remembering where some annoying bits are that I missed out last time well, I say missed out just like I had to go back and paint as opposed to you know just get it all blocked 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 out re reasonably painlessly and it's good to see the YouTube chat filling up today And not just the Twitch chat. So if you are new again, I keep saying it, if you are new and you're in the chat, come and say hello. This is live. I believe you have to like train train your viewers, right? I need to start training everyone back on the stickers that was my biggest money maker man was the Tim Westwood sticker and then Tim Westwood had to go and get himself me too didn't he and that was my that was my biggest money spinner mate was that Tim Westwood sticker yeah, exactly yes it's having a fun little story is seems to be lost doesn't it on um a lot of the stuff these days, right? It's more about, like you said, like the competitive game. I've said this a million times, man. Like, they're obviously trying to make, um, like 40k, like the next like esports or whatever. You know, they can see money in it, and so that's what they're like aiming and gearing up for. And when they get that Amazon deal and the Amazon TV show. I, I've said this before, man. I'm gonna have to make a predict. I'm gonna have to make a predictions video, right? They're gonna push that, man, and all the normies are gonna come flocking to it, mate. And you'll see like proper 40k tournaments and stuff. And I've already said this a million times, man. It will be the 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 Amazon series of 40k will be the beginning of the end. Probably a good shout though, Essex. I mean obviously the American market and then obviously the norm the normie market is that's where the money is, right? And that's that's what the G GW shareholders and stuff want to see, man. They want to see you know, they want to see GW stuff everywhere. And not just not just models, you know what I mean? So we're already getting there anyway with plushies and things like that. I really need to get this documented so that people can in two years or whatever it is, I can go, I fucking told you. Look at the state of it now. And you you all you all 
poo-pooed me, mate. You said it would never happen. I told you this was going to happen. Seen it all before. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm alright, Nige. Thanks, mate. Just, uh... You know, the, the litten and stuff, it's, it's all new. Feel a bit of a... I don't know, any other dads in the chat, maybe you can... Gonna help me a little bit. I feel a little bit of a spare part just where my I mean I can hear the baby crying. <laughs> um feel a little bit of a spare part because um you know my missus is breastfeeding uh, and you know she's a, you know the baby's only a month old, right? So I mean apart from like change the odd nappy and like hold her for a little bit and stuff, I just kind of feel like there's not much I can really do and obviously making dinner and you know, doing the washing and stuff when I can. I mean, apart from that, I mean, I don't know what else I can really kind of offer at this stage. No, I think they should target the younger crowd, Mitch. I, I disagree. I mean, I think they need to target the younger crowd, but I just think that, you know, they targeted the younger crowd, um... You know, that's, I mean, that's why I'm here, man, back in second edition. I mean, I was, like, young, do you know what I mean? Like, really young. Like, 10 or something. 13, like, you know, that kind of age, right? You know, and it was, like, and it was, it was, you know, although, like, all the models and stuff were, like, super, um, garish, second edition, but, like... You know, I'd read the books and I'd think, oh, fucking, like, you know, I'm so glad that my mum doesn't know, like, how savage this is, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, we, you know, there's people here that are old enough to remember, you know, what happened with white metal, you know, it's... White metal was bloody awful. Compared to lead, right? Six. Yeah, well, they would have been lead models, Mitch, wouldn't they? When you, if you're six years old, rogue trader ones, I'm guessing. Me and Mitch, Mitch is Goodwin. In a Warhammer world. I've got the old uh, Jez Goodwin avatar just sitting just out of shot actually. That new bat that new avatar is pretty cool though.
<laughs> the original Avatar was just tiny, a tiny little thing, wasn't it? Looked like an epic model. Man, I must have fallen out of the um, Etsy algorithm. Must have fallen out of love with me because I haven't had any um, any questions about any new commissions for a while. You met Duncan as well as the Perrys. Was Duncan do it? Duncan does reenacting as well, does he? Everyone fucking loves Duncan, don't they? It's nice to just let the old Xenophil do a lot of the work on this. Alright, there's one of those bits that I was talking about earlier where it kind of miss it. Hey, how's it going, buddy? I bet your nan does paint better than me, mate. White metal is to lead what fine cast is to plastic. Yeah, fucking 100%, man. I can remember, like, being... Well, I can't remember how old I was when white metal came out, but, I mean... You know, I can remember the blokes in the GW store giving it all the spiel, like... Oh, but you can get much more detail in it and stuff like that, and it's easier to... Remember them saying it was easier to convert white metal was going to be easier to convert and easier to stick. What a load of tosh, mate. 
the lead pewter models were so much easier to stick and so much easier to convert and stuff than the rubbish white metal. Speaking about old paints, look, we're using an absolute ancient one now, look. Fire Dragon. <laughs> now that come out of the old, um, wasn't it like an Eldar and Orc painting kit? That used to have that in it. Like one of their, like, supposedly advanced painting kits. Is my memory serving me correct on that? Guarantee that there's a ton of people that have joined had a look at the stream had a look at the current state of Mortarian and gone what is that guy doing he's got no idea what he's doing at all he don't know how to paint he's not spending about 20 million years on every little bit of detail at this stage mate and especially for a Nurgle model then I just need to get the paint on the bastard I need elf flesh. Actually, no, not elf flesh. Got a TT combat. Do I want this TT combat paint? I feel like this one's too dark. Let's go with elf flesh first. All right, look at that. There's another old school paint for you, look.
And really, like some of these stages, oh, should hold off on a little bit. Wait for this. Wait for this wash to dry in choice places. But again, where it's Nurgle, like that can sometimes really just play into your favour. Having some a mess An overspill is not necessarily not necessarily an enemy when you're painting Nurgle How many streams do you reckon it's going to take me to get this bad boy done? I'm going to have to change my um, now deceiving clickbaity thumbnail title. I said I wanted to do this at like, f start this at three o'clock on the Sunday. Right. Just had zero time. By the time I'd cook like lunch and stuff like that, it's like, oh man, it's already timed, you know what I mean? And then it's just like tons of rubbish real life bullshit to do. Tell you something that I have been impressed with GWIs recently is I've been playing um, Rogue Trader and I'm shocked that it's actually decent. No spoilers, please, if you've played it. Hey, huh? Long time I see my man. How you been? Made any cushy bits of armor recently? Are you off? Are you Essex? If you are off, man, thanks for popping in. Hope to see you again, mate. That's it, her baby in February, mate. Let me know what the plans are, and hopefully, we can meet up for a bevy with some of the other orcs. Is any of you coming down for that?
Oh, I can hear the little and crying in the background. I feel guilty. Little, um, painting on stream. Oh yeah, heart. I've had a, I've had a kid over the, over the Christmas holidays, mate. In case, you're like what? <laughs> Yeah, cheers, man. Right, I just need to get a new job now. Get some more money. I'm going to get that CV sorted after stream today, Mitch, and get something pinged off to your place. Hopefully that opening's still there. I was sitting there in the shed today and I was thinking, fuck me, man. I'm like, I need more money. Because his Patreon intro just messed up then. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I'm already working though, mate. Do you know what I mean? It's like not like you know, job searching in that sort of way. Like you know, I've got to find something. Like you know, I actually like my job, which is the annoying thing. But it's just not enough money. It's kind of another reason why I should probably get back on the. Uh, Back on the brushes as well, really, because with the little in there, I mean, like basically any any other money is just going to disappear, I think, and it's now going to be a case of uh, any money I get from commissions is going to be my beer money, I think. Yeah, you've got your Patreon intro, man. And anyone who wants their own Patreon intro, guess what? Sign up to the Patreon and you can get one. I'll make it for you. What a guy, eh? Actually, you know what? Tomorrow, if I'm streaming, maybe we won't. Maybe not the. Um, maybe we won't do the apocryphy. Maybe we'll try and get the uh, lizard men done. And get David Ike's favourite army done first. I mean, already the green arm is looking pretty sick. <laughs> so the problem is, though, is I need to wait for it wait for it to dry and that's the annoying thing and I want to start picking out picking out the trim <laughs> I 
I need a bone cutter. Yeah, who else is coming down? Essex. Dread, Steve-O. Well, Steve-O's not. You're coming to Steve-O, aren't you? But any of the others? So what part of your business is it you're trying to get going, Hart? Is it the is it the commission painting or is it um, the armor production or mixture of both? <laughs> Speaking of Mitch, how's the website going? Any further with it. Is it an online shop or a physical bricks and mortar shop hut? Oh yeah, mate. I saw um. Oh, what is it? Mini? Uh, what's that? Uh, what's that? Key? Is it Dave from Mini War Gaming? I saw he was at um, Siege Studios the other day. But I bet you got a free commission, mate. This commission normally costs forty grand, but we'll give it to you for free because we're such nice guys. <laughs> Guarantee you. Contrast paint is in need. I oh, must eBay, is it? It cracked me up when, like, we got there, like, before them. And, like, they'd be going around, like, the Dartford Tunnel, like, three times.
Um, are there any other more sort of like wooden bits on him apart from the... Um, kind of talking to myself here, lads. I'm just thinking, is there any other wood bits on him apart from the... Um, Scythe? Hey, Drunken Orc, man. How's it going, buddy? We were just talking about the, uh, the Peterborough, Peterborough Orc meet-up and the potential for another one down sort of Steve-O and mine sort of way. Essex is going to be coming down. Like, I'm only 15, 20 minutes away from Steve-O. What's Carnival and Infinity? Ha. Huh. You're gonna have to tell me, I'm afraid, my my man. Somebody enlighten me on what that even is. Oh, you got a good couple of viewers today. There must be some new people there. Remember, remember to hit the follow button. <laughs> I don't sell as much as I used to, man. Like, I used to be bang on that, man. Remember to like and subscribe. Remember to sign up to the channel. Fuck it now, I just gave up. Dirty brass colour, the metals. Look up. Ooh. Incoming raid, chaps. Raven Delve, man, thanks for the raid. Welcome anyone who's jumped in with Raven Delve. Can anyone give our, um, we've got a couple of streamers in today, man. We need to give our man Raven Delve a shout out. We need to give Hutt a shout out. Essex, we need, to, he's a YouTuber and Sydney, the drunken orc. Plenty of shout outs I should be giving. The easy answer to is click on their names in the chat and go and give them all a follow. What I should is what I should be doing. Helping out the other streamers, eh? Grave Lord, no, not gonna use that. Hardened leather, no. Brazen copper, that sounds about right. That might be a bit too aggressive, do you think? Enchanted steel, is that like a more bluish sort of colour? What is really nice about these army painters, speed paints, the metallics, is that they come with a widget inside. That's, that's some pro shit right there. Courtesy of Mitch, thanks for the donation, man, for those, for these. Poured bronze, I think this might be the one. Eat Brewer's class, but it did smell a bit. Yeah, we've mentioned multiple times about the dump that is Peterborough. Again, sorry for any Peterborough, Peterborough people around, but 
Ravendell, man, what were you streaming today, mate? Painting, gaming. That's not good. Just off the camera there, look. Almost a, almost a disaster. Let's get that back in there. Fingers crossed. Right, that doesn't, that doesn't bode well. A bit of cloggage here. Frost Queen. And I'm getting paint all over my hands today. What's Frost Queen and what's Hedge Knight? Anyone who's watching on Twitch, if you are experiencing invasive adverts, which are even more invasive than the YouTube ones, there is only one remedy, I'm afraid, my friends, and that is to hit the subscribe button. There's nothing I can do about it. That's my, that's my plug. for my own channel. Oh, bring back COVID days, eh, lads? That's where the, that's where the real money, that's where the real streaming money was. And I do feel like, out of the crop of the thousand million or so crop of streamers that appeared in COVID in both the lockdowns, or was there three lockdowns? I was, I'm still here. And a lot, I've seen a lot of streamers come and go in those couple of years. Muggins here is still, still at it. Plugging away. Maybe, maybe one day I'll be able to give up the day job, eh? How's your um, YouTube channel going, Essex? Last time I looked, it was like running on about 4,000 subby, something like that. What are you on now, like 5,000 something? I just cannot seem to break the uh, 1,200 mark.
But you know why that is? Because I haven't really released any videos. <laughs> it's like... I just want it to grow on its own without doing any work. It's New Year resolution, man, is I want to... I want to do... Maybe like one short a week. Um, and one full video every two weeks, maybe. And I really want to get Primarchs at the pub off the ground. I think that's what I'm going to do after the stream today. Is I'm going to rewrite my CV. Or just tailor my CV a little bit. And then I'm going to maybe do a little bit more more work on Primarchs at the pub. Like I said, it's 90% done. <laughs> Insane paint job. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Sage. Is this the first time in the chat, Sage? I don't recall. Don't recall the name. I only just started, mate, as well. So he's gonna. He's gonna look a lot, lot better than this. I mean, you can see in some of my previous videos the sort of look that we're that we'll be going for with him. You haven't uploaded anything in seven months, mate. You're gonna get penalised by that algorithm. Seriously, chaps, the YouTube game is fucking grind. Real hard work. I've seen that arbitrary Ian stuff. I mean, um, I don't tend to watch any law channels myself anymore. I used to. But when I started doing my own, like, law videos, which I've basically given up on now, I, um, I just, like, just couldn't watch them anymore. <laughs> like, Is the uh, sad truth. And of course that's what the that's what there's so many law video law channels out there now, I just kind of like feel like you know, there's no point, you know. When I started doing my law videos, there weren't there weren't as many law channels, but again, in COVID, man, like about a million different other law channels all sprung up at the same time, didn't they? Sometimes I feel like I was a victim of my own hard work and sort of research. I feel like if I just kept on doing an epic narrator, that kind of tongue-in-cheek stuff I did, like the channel would probably be a lot bigger now because um, I just think I was looking for like too much success too quick and there wasn't like a million videos out there that were saying how to get famous in YouTube in five quick steps and you know when they did start coming out I started watching them and like listen to some of the supposed advice and now I just feel like if I'd have just stuck to my guns and 
didn't watch those videos and just kept on doing what I was doing before. I feel like the um, channel itself would have been much more successful and had a much bigger following. You live and learn, don't you? It's a bit hard to kind of take everything back now, you know. It's just going to be one of those what ifs. Cuz, mate. If only I painted... Yeah, man. If only I painted a viral mini that... Um, I don't know. Maybe something like Mr. Blobby? If only... If only I had done that, right? If only I'd painted a viral mini that somebody didn't steal off me and steal my video off me. Perhaps then that could have helped, right? Yeah, thanks for reminding me of that, cuz. I actually did break the internet. It's just that someone stole my video. So all I've got to do is break the internet again. <laughs> oh damn it, man! What a what a sad state of events that that is. Yeah, Sage. Well, um, like I, um, it's probably the easiest thing to do. If you go into the links below and you go on like my Etsy store or something like that, um, you should see some. <coughs> you'll see like um, another one of the Mortarians I've done. The actual first Mortarian I did was probably my favourite because um, that was my mate's, and my mate just gave me carte blanche to do what I wanted with it. So. Um, and the other Mortarians that I've painted kind of on the back of that, the success of that one, like, you know, um, you know, I've got to follow what the client wants. So they're still cool, but my, my favorite one is my original sort of bland Shih Tzu style one. And I did Mortarian instead of like green armor, I gave him his, um, um, oh, Death Guard, like off, really nasty, like off white sort of color with like toxic, toxic slime. And like, you know, the greens were on his cloak. I'm not a fan of the purple. Um, I'm not, I'm not really a fan of purple on or too much of it, but you know, I've got to do what, what the client wants, you know, it's not my model. But yeah, that was my that was my favourite iteration. My worst, my literal worst, the worst way that I see this being painted is the heavy metal, mate, is the heavy metal way. Like, I really just do not think that looks like a Nurgle model. And it kind of makes me sad that, like, this this these sort of days like everyone wants things painted like the box art it seems like most people that's what they want oh mate i painted a mr blobby um hey nav how's it going buddy um i paint um sage i painted a mr blobby mini you can see it on one of my shorts it was just a muck about right and i made a little mr blobby video to go with the short and um, it must have got about a couple of hundred views or something like that on um, 
YouTube. Um, and then somebody sent me a message. I can't remember. It was somebody in the Discord. I've forgotten who it was, though. It might have been Welsh Mini Painter. It was somebody. Um, was it you? Um, it wasn't Cuz. Was it you, Firelock? Or somebody. Like, it's like one of the regulars sent me. They were like, Garth, is this your Mini? Actually, a couple of people said it, so I might be getting confused. A couple of people sent me and were like, Garth, mate, isn't this your video? I'm like, yeah, fucking sweet, mate. Is it taking off? And they're like, well, yeah, except that some bloke called Billy Bob McRandom has posted it up on Twitch and he's getting a, uh, sorry, posted it up on, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, Twitter. Or X. Right, posted it up on that. It was like, somebody's posted up on that and like, you know, didn't give me any credits in it or anything like that. And like that video got like thousands and thousands and thousands of views and it's like seriously man like you know what's the point like <laughs> i basically just bankrolled someone for them to steal my steal my video man So there he goes. If you guys want to, seriously, the best way that you guys can help me out, I know this is old hat, right? It is really just to go share, like, and actually watch my videos. Do you know what I mean? That's that's the best way. And if you're feeling super generous, man, like maybe get on a Patreon and I can get you some some memes loaded up for live streams. But like I said, I mean it really. It was pretty soul destroying when that happened, man. I can't. Can't really, um. Can't really spin a positive on it, really. Apart from the fact, you know, the only positive that comes from it is, is that it's like, well, you know, I can do it. I've just got to do it again. <laughs> like, isn't it? Like that's all it would have taken as well. Yeah. Exactly, buddy. Exactly, buddy. They deserve. They deserve a Simerson slash for like. I don't mind, man. And repost my video, but at least fucking say, "Oh, this is this guy's thing that he's done." Like, you know, why don't you go and check him out or something? I would have been like, yeah, man, that's cool. Like, I did message him and say, come on, mate. And then he um, he went, oh, yeah, look, I didn't realise it was going to take off. I I've edited it now and I've put some credit, I've put your credits in there for you. And I'm like, a bit fucking late, though, isn't it? Bit bloody late. I mean, really, I'm just crying over spilt milk, aren't I? There's nothing I can do about it now. Now, I said, I've just got to hope that one day my, you know, the hard work pays off, you know? Yeah, Sage, I mean, you know what I've got to do, lads, to recreate the, um, to recreate the buzz of that. I've got to grab, I've got to get Thomas the Wank Engine out of the workshop and paint it up. I've got to get Thomas the Wank Engine off the shelf and paint it and make a similar video for him. Yeah, I know I should do the wanking, but I've I've had too many commissions to do, man, and fucking Thomas is taking a back seat.
and some of you lot are going, what the hell is Thomas the Wank Engine? Do you guys want to see Thomas the Wank Engine? I'll get I'll get the wank engine out for you. You want to watch me have a wank? It'll cost you a tenner. Seriously, chaps, you want to see real chaos? You want to see real chaos, mate? That. That is Thomas the Wank Engine. <laughs> Look at it. Isn't it glorious? Yeah. Look at this, mate. Seriously, man, I need to paint this, don't I? Look at it. so class isn't it <laughs> maybe get some chains on there as well I think like some more chains holy fuse box yeah there you go there you go sage that's the wank engine what do you guys reckon of this <laughs> Thomas the Wank Engine is just pure chaos, mate. Like, pure chaos. Almost as... Almost as chaotic as Blobby, look. Why doesn't the Major Linux play? I've got to sort out some of these um, commands, sorry. Ah. Right. So, cuz, the Patreon command for Major Linux is literally just Major Linux. There's no Patreon in front of it. Sexy sharp. Push it in deep, Sean. Show me your wank engine. Sharp. That's about that's that's what needs to be said after that. Morty is mega. He's not quite there yet, mate. He's gonna. He's got. He's got a, a while, to say the least.
Has anyone seen the American in between this film? I'm sorry to say for the Americans watching, man, but like... American versions of British comedy just generally don't work for me. Apart from, I've never seen it, but I hear that the American version of The Office is actually alright, but I mean, I didn't really like the British version of The Office, to be honest. I know that might be sacrilege for some people, but I just I didn't find it that funny. I'm not actually a big Ricky Gervais fan, in all honesty, unless he's unless he's berating Hollywood sex pest types. That was class. Chaplin on a bike, eh? Do you have a black bike? Ultramarines, I'm guessing, buddy. Is it for your, your army, is it? We run out of music. I'm going to have to repeat this. What the hell's an eradicator? Sounds like a primaris name to me. Dirty primaris. She buddy, how's your channel going, man? Seems to be growing a bit, right? When we say kind of, what do we mean? I don't have affiliate no more. The ads are really bad, isn't they, on Switch? Especially like... Hey, at least you, I used to be able to get like 20 odd people watching me, but those days seem to be long gone these days. Like 20 used to be like an average. Oh, here we go. Incoming raid? Who have we got there? Formologist. Welcome in, Formologist. For glory. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, cuz. You absolute legend. Thanks for the gift subs, man. And, um, yeah, I'm shocked. But I've got to say thank you to both cuz and, um, and our man who raided, raided in. And welcome in to all the raiders. As you can see, I am... Getting there with a uh, Mortarian here. 
just base coat at the moment. Very, very, very much the base coat. <laughs> Form. What have you been painting today, my mate? My mate, my friend. Now the question is, do I want to start picking out? Do I want to start picking out bits of the armor? The trim. Five years. How is it? Um, you are ready to excel. Well, thanks for the follow, my man. I think that's the first follow of the day. Probably the first follow in about six months. Thank you. <laughs> How is it picking up the brush after um, so long, mate? Did you find you were out of practice, or did you get straight back into the swing of things? In case people are on YouTube are thinking, what's going on? Like when that happens. So when that raid thing comes up, that means on Twitch, like another streamer has jumped into the stream because their stream has ended and they've brought their viewers over as well. Obligatory shout out to our man Form. If you haven't picked up a brush in six months, form is it do you normally do um game streaming or joshua jesus loves me seek him i don't know i think i'll be all right but thanks for the tip mate I just don't know where all my memes are these days. I thought I kind of got all my memes all sorted. I've got the perfect meme to what our man just said there. <laughs> Here we go. This is for you, Joshua. Hey, Scott. Jesus, man. You asked. And he arrived. Sage, just give it a bash, man. Just don't get too hung up on, on things, you know. It's... You know, if you're first starting off painting, just, like, temper your expectations, you know. You're going to get better every time you paint. My advice to any new painter is just follow the basic steps, which there are almost no ways to look at basic step hey lady hey lady that said a bit weird didn't it sorry but yeah um my advice sage is always just follow for basic like you want to learn how to paint you want to paint something that half decent and like quickly right base coat spray it black then do a quick xenophil so spray it black then spray a bit of white on top of that and then do your base coat do your washes and then reapply a base coat and then that you've automatically done one layer of highlighting then without even meaning to
You are ready to excel. Lady. Thanks for the follow. Who follows today? I've broken broken a, a record today. And obviously, man, like too much too much is going on. I haven't even said a proper thanks to um Cuz who dropped five subs like an absolute legend. Reinforcements have arrived. And Tengu, man, thank you as well. Cuz. Cuz, this is for the five subs. Much appreciated, man. And, you know, with the new baby on the way, mate, that money will actually be used. <laughs> Probably on nappies and stuff. And new followers, Form, Lady, and Tengu. This is for you as well. Oh, whoops. We'll do a shorter one, sorry. And Mickey. All right, Mickey, you, you're in on this as well. This is your thank you. Everyone's thank you. Yeah, so if you like Star Trek and stuff like that, man, then this is the uh, this is the place for you. Any of that old school sort of sci-fi goodness, man, like that's that's what we're all into here. And like just general eighties and nineties humour, we're all we're all a little bit older. I think it might be time that I um crack open a new coat to arms gold. I think this one is dead. Let's see if it's still got a little bit of life in it. Sage, if you wanna get some death guard painted by me, mate, um I have a bit of a waiting list at the moment, but when it comes to Death Guard, I can knock them out quite quick. Yeah. I think it's time to bin that paint. Serve me well. Painting some nids, no nah, man, got more Terry in here. I said the best thing, the best thing to do is maybe go on, it's Sage, go on to my Etsy store. And I can potentially put a quote together for you. But like as long as you kind of, I know this is going to sound like a little bit um, leery, but um, as long as you kind of like understand how much commission painting can be, you know what I mean? Because um, I'll get a lot of people come on Etsy and they'll um, say, oh, can you do such and such? And I'll be like, yeah, mate, no worries. Um, give them a price. And they're like, oh, that's far too expensive. I didn't realize it was going to be that much. And it's like, well... It's really not that much, mate. It's actually less than minimum wage when you work it out. So, you know, as long as, you know, you're prepared, prepared for that, my friend.
I'm starting to think that maybe this gold is not the right gold I've picked. And that maybe this, I might go for some, maybe a brighter one, maybe a Vallejo. Normally this coat to arms gold is a sure fire. I need a really, really bright one and that's not doing it. Mate, I swear that most people <coughs> I swear that most people these days are painting painting neds, aren't they? On streams. I see a lot of people painting Tyranids just because they've got about a million of them from that new box set, haven't they? Yeah, that's better. This this is a bit of gold. This is the gold that we need. Zero chance that. Zero chance. That I'm not going to miss some of this gold out. Yeah, um, Basil, mate, it's, it's not rocket science, this effect, to be honest. It's not like, so I'd like to think it's something that I've coined myself almost I kind of haven't seen any YouTube videos that kind of do this effect I'm sure there are some out there I've made one myself incidentally mate if you go on to if, if you like this effect I can tell you I've got a YouTube video on my channel and it tells you how how to achieve it basically about five ten minutes long something like that man it's like i can't remember what it's called i think it's called speed painting death guard without oils something like that so if you type in um exclamation mark youtube into the chat it will um give you a link to my youtube channel mate so instead of me spending about 20 minutes explaining how to do it on stream my advice would be just Go on there, give it a give it a sub. Have a look at some of the other videos and find the um, Death Guard one on there, mate. I'm basically just waiting for somebody else to copy that video and get a million views on it, like happened with Blobby. Because I know that's a decent video. And it just got buried in the algorithm. And also Sage, if you're still there mate, that video would, you know, if you want to get your Death Guard painted up in this style, then um, check that video out as well man, it might inspire you to, to get me to paint them, might inspire you to give this, this a go yourself.
Yeah, man. I mean, YouTube algorithm does not like me, mate. I said it's a hard graft, man. Like trying to, and you know, like editing a video takes so long, and then you get like epoxy two hundred views on it or something. You're like, what a waste of time, you know. And you know, you know, it's a good video. It's pretty soul destroying. Didn't somebody um, put something up um, in the Discord recently? I saw it in the chat. I mean, I've I've had about a million different talking points, so I'm not ignoring you, man. Um, it was our man Foom, wasn't it, who raided in? Did you say you put what you've been painting on the stream in the Discord? Or am I making that up? Maybe we can. Maybe when I've done the gold, we can go and have a Ganges at it potentially. That goes for anyone else who wants wants to get their minis up on stream, get them in the hobby zone. And if you're still there for them, or anyone who's just raided, man, I find it, once I've done a stream myself, I find it really difficult to sit on somebody's stream, like another person's stream for any length of time. So don't feel like you have to stick around to be polite or anything, man. I completely understand if you want to shoot off and just do something that isn't Twitch, you know what I mean? Of course it's invalid. Um, Colossus or Mitch, if you guys aren't gaming, can you get a, a decent Discord link up for us, man? I've put the setting on Discord that should be, you know, that link shouldn't go out of date, but it still does. I think that they're just trying to get me to buy like Discord Premium or whatever it's called. What's the Discord Premium called? And did we lose our man Sage? I hope I didn't annoy you when I said about time wasters on Etsy. 
If I did, I'm sorry, my man. That's just the way it is. It's actually going to make a YouTube video about <laughs> something like the 10 <laughs> the 10 devastating things that nobody tells you about commission painting. And one of them is um, like time wasters. Another one is um, nitro. Yeah, that's it. Um, time wasters, um, hidden costs. So things like postage and packaging. Um, Obviously, paint, but posting and packaging is is a huge one for, um, you know, sites like Etsy and stuff like that. They take they take a huge cut. What other? Um, of course, another one is that. You know, you're painting models that you might not might not like, so everyone's like, oh I like painting, so that means I'm gonna like commission painting, but you know, just like anything like this, like you know, you start starts eating into your time and it becomes no longer a hobby, like a an actual job, you know what I mean? Like you know, you hear that with anything else like music and stuff like that, right? I mean, this isn't my this isn't my main job, but I can I can confidently now call my commission painting up to the level of um, a side hustle. You know, I, I do enough commissions now to sort of supplement my income a little bit. You know. But like when I think about um, imposter syndrome, that's another one I was going to mention on the video. So often I feel like my, sometimes I feel like, you know, when yeah, I'm, we all get this right. You, you're probably getting it right now, lady, right? You know, you see like everyone else is um, painting sometimes and you think like, how the hell can I even consider charging people for my painting. That's another one. So that's five there, isn't it? Five commission painting issues you should know before starting. Maybe I'll just do five. Yeah, but man, I say this all the time. Like, if I respect anyone who just actually paints their models, do you know what I mean? like tabletop standard or any sort of standard right and gets those models painted and onto the battlefield because personally i don't like looking at you know gray armies and they like even up to battle standard or whatever you want to call it like that's still a lot of effort that somebody's put in and 
it looks a million times better than um look at just a gray gray mass of unpainted models or even like some models that like you know are just like not even stuck together but of course most people don't have the time to sit there and paint up an entire army like you know it's a lot of lot of work isn't it huge amount of work by any stretch of the imagination Yeah, well, we've, I'm sure we've all got a huge pile of shame. All of us. What was it? Somebody called it? I saw someone that made me laugh the other day. I saw on somebody's channel that instead of calling it a pile of shame, they called it like a pile of possibility or something along those lines. I thought that was quite amusing. <laughs> you will right. be punished! Oh, yeah, mate. Punishment for the, um, punishment for, uh, for, this, for, for the piles of shame. Piles of shame wrapped in bags of beatings, mate. I can't see everyone's name. Ravendell, are you still about? I'm just having a look through Discord now. Yeah. Well, buddy, you still there, mate? If you're there, let me know because I'm going to meme your meme your minis. Not. All right here we go, chaps. Get some meme image on the go. we go for let's go for an old classic we haven't seen in ages man this was my first please join, join me in inviting me president in president barack obama and kehinde wiley to, to unveil, unveil the, the portrait, portrait. Okay, mate, who's it owes? They look sick, mate. Whoever did those. B, Mr. Bean. Name's not coming up on the Discord for whatever reason. So whoever whoever did these, round of applause for yourselves. Is it these buddies? I thought they were buddies. Uh, 
else have we got in here? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a 3D printed one there, isn't it? Firelock, nice one, man. I approve of uh, not giving <laughs> GW extra money. Oh, he's even got a video, mate. Talking about crisp, man, that looks super crisp, Firelock. Like, really good. Face looks good, and the orc skin. For sex, a eh, mate. Raven Delve, if you're still there, man. What models are these? It's a work in progress. That's not GW, is it? That's something else. An interesting, interesting color choices. I mean, obviously, when it's a work in progress, it's hard to say too much. You know, it's looking good, looking good so far. Got M Mitch's Tyranids here, look. Getting some airbrush action on the go. And this stream always comes out super clean. Like the pictures always look fucking sick. Like I'm jealous of Mitch's stream quality, basically. I would guess these are 3D prints. See, this is something I'd like to do as well, is like paint some busts and stuff. And this is like, this is the sort of thing that's up my street, mate. Nice bit of second edition, man. I always found this model a bit odd though, this second edition, like, um, this second edition Chaos Dreadnought. I always found it a bit strange, but it's of the period that I I love. See, Noah's Army just churns models out like nobody's business, and like they look decent as well. See, I like these models that you do fire. Like, I mean, I'm from Portsmouth, aren't I? So like naval stuff. I'm like, oh, look at that. There's a dazzled camouflage on there as well, which makes anything look complete badass. And um, the U-boat as well. How'd you do the water effects? So, is that like the actual model? Yeah, because these are not GW, are they? They're um, a third party one, right? Are these third party? I feel like this guy might be GW, the High Elf, but then the Orc is not, right? Bare oh, shut up, bosses, gangsters, drug dealers. I mean, you wouldn't want to stay around there, would you? Well, guess what? I got an invite. I'm moving in with some of the country's most dangerous men, so we can find out how they sleep at night. And judging by this mob, it's going to be tears before bedtime. All right, Danny, calm down. I can't find where Danny is. Like, I've got so many memes now. Like, that's Danny just keeps on appearing, and I haven't been able to find where he is to, well, turn Danny off, basically. I think what we we'll do is we'll go another 20 minutes or so and then 11 o'clock I think that's a respectable decent time to maybe think about shutting down because I want to make sure that I don't burn out so that was the big problem before is burning out I need to do maybe like a few more shorter streams not just powering it through like you know in a week just doing like three or four streams and then just get the models done i need to like work out an actual 
sort of decent decent way to handle it Also, anyone new to the stream, I do music as well, would you believe? I do Fridays and sometimes Saturday, well, basically just whenever I feel like it. I don't go down the pub on a Friday or a Saturday night. I normally do a music stream. And the music that I do is kind of 90s happy hardcore and drum and bass, but with 40k... Reinforcements have arrived. Thanks for the follow there. Praise the Omnisire. Sorry, no um no admic on the show today, I'm afraid. <clears throat> but yeah, I also do what was I saying? Yeah, I also do music of a 40k theme. Recommended by Lorna, nice one. Well thank you, Lorna wherever you are. I think I'm going to get start getting ready to put some more wash on this then that would probably be a good place to kind of leave it then when the wash is kind of on and then let it dry for the next next session But yeah, so you guys are all good and welcome to come and join the music stream. I've been itching to do a music stream, so maybe I'll do one this this Friday, we'll see. Then, like I said, I'm thinking about trying to commit to a um, an actual schedule. And even just this next level of wash that I'm going to put on here now, it will suddenly start. That's going to make bits pop and look slightly more horrific when you see it. Because one of the washes I'm going to do is going to be on these like fleshy bits. We're going to get some like red, red wash over it, so it's like looks sore, basically. He's got like little fleshy pipes all over the place on him though. I keep like missing them. I'm sure the phrase fleshy pipes could be uh, construed in many ways. What you want 
to see. We want to see more fleshy pipes on the stream. Is anyone still on YouTube, or have we lost all of our, have we lost all of our YouTube people? Classic, classic Agrax over these metal bits. Again, lady, I would um, suggest if you want if you want to do a similar style to this, or even like this complete style, just check out my YouTube channel, and there's there's a video on there I've got of like you know, and it's literally titled how to that's it how to speed I think it's titled how to speed how to speed paint Death Guard with no no without oil paints basically. So. I said I'd give that a go and it will hopefully give you some um, inspiration. And again, the nice thing about this is just not worrying about the wash pooling and stuff like that, where it's death guard. Just get it, get it in there and let the mess, let the mess work for you. And I'm guessing all the YouTube all the YouTube views have dropped off. We did peak at sort of like seven or eight or something. Which for YouTube is Alright. At this stage anyway, if I was bloody Doctor Disrespect or something, you know. You wouldn't even bother to stream to that many people, would you? <laughs> what even happened to that guy, Doctor Disrespect? Is he still a? Is he still a thing? He got booted from Twitch, didn't he? I mean, you know, being a streamer, like, surely I should be well versed in all of these supposed dramas but you know unless it's hobby related you know often like if I watch like YouTube stuff and they're like eh do you want to be big you don't want to be a massive like you know million subscribers like Mr. Beast or whatever like you're like who is Mr. Beast what does he do I don't fucking know well there was some other guy called like Casey Ryback or something like that. People are like, you know, you want to be a massive YouTuber like this guy. I'm like, Who are these goons? I think I'm showing my age there. Actually, it's not going to be Casey Ryback, is it? I was thinking, where does Casey, where's the name Casey Ryback come from? If anyone can guess, if anyone knows where the name Casey Ryback comes from, I'll be well chuffed because I know, I know, I remember where it's from now.
I know where, I know where the name Casey Ryback is from for sure. Yeah, Under Siege, man, correct. It's from the original. You let the Casey Ryback? I'm just a cook. Ah, oh, cheers, Alva. Like I said, any, you know, any extra, any extra ratings, man. If you want to lurk on YouTube, like I said, that just helps the YouTube dreaded algorithm for me. I almost um, bought some panel liner the other day, not Tamiya, it was an AK panel liner. I hear good things about panel liners and that it can save you a lot of time, especially something like painting Space Marines, right, and it looks really crisp. So I was going to invest in a couple of bottles of it, or pots of it, whatever. So it just feels so much more free painting painting Nurgle in a larger model as well. It's like actually relaxing as opposed to supposedly relaxing. Cheap calligraphy pen. What's the um, idea with a calligraphy pen? Cuz. Excuse me. <laughs> oh. It's a red. <laughs> Excuse me again. Right, red wash. Where are you hiding? Two bottles of flesh wash. On well, that flesh wash is one of the best washes. I use it all the time, especially for like bone and stuff. Don't tell me I am in need of buying a red wash. Where's the red one on the 
how you move. Boop. Boop. Is this something I'm gonna have to invest in? Could thin down some contrast or some speed paint and probably get the same result. But I think I'm just kind of being lazy here. Oh, it's right there in front of me. Right, panic averted. So it used the calligraphy pen itself. I thought you just kind of like add like a little dropper thing that came with the panel liner and you just kind of like drop that on and then it would kind of seep in seep in that way I didn't realize that you kind of needed a pen with it as well just makes life easier I'm just trying to work out in my head how like using a pen would kind of work it just like it just seems like foreign to me you know what I mean I'll have to watch them I'll have to watch them YouTube videos see what the best way is with the panel liner I mean it, it you know it kind of makes sense but like in my head I'm like thinking but like wouldn't it be like really hard to like for a Gundam to me that like makes makes a lot of sense but for like you know sort of minis like little minis like these I'm just wondering how you would get the pen into like certain nooks and crannies and that Right. So I suppose the thumbnail hasn't been a complete lie because that's, if you were to paint that base, 
that is a perfectly serviceable mortarian i think right if i painted just like the some lime green there and did the base and these little cherubs which you know i could do that in about half hour then that is easily a serviceable mortarian what do you guys think you know maybe just pick his eyes out do you know what i mean and a few little bits then like you could you could easily rock up onto the onto the battlefield couldn't you and be like yeah that's done you know that's done do you know what i mean i mean to my eye he's nowhere near it but you know just with some washing some paint splattering and stuff like you can you can do a lot with this with this model i think All right. So I said we'd go to eleven, didn't we? And it's five two or four two. So I think we can call it there. And I've got quite a bit of clean up to do. Right. So we have some thanks to thank yous. Fucking what a legend, cuz mate. Five gift subs today. Who got the gift subs anyway? Colossus, Seafy, Buddy, Lorna, and Ryder. Yeah, man. They were well deserving, well deserving supporters of the channel there as well. All right. So. That's it for today, ladies and gents. Um, I'm kind of like looking. That people I've raided before and there doesn't seem to be anyone that I know you know what I mean <laughs> that I'd like to palm palm my dedicated viewers off onto is Ashens <laughs> should we raid Ashens as in the sofa um, the sofa reviewing tech funny guy I think that's what we'll do. We'll raid. We'll raid Ashens. Not that he needs it, but like I don't know. Ashens might turn around and go, "Ooh, bus wankers!" Yeah, Ashens might turn around and call me a bus wanker. That would be that'd be a turn up for the books, wouldn't it? Well, I'm gonna have to sort out those Patreon commands as well. All right, then, ladies and gents. So that is that is it. I think we did complete we did complete a mortarian in one stream to a sufficient level, and just for continuity's sake, there he is. That is three hours work. And Mortarian's just going to get better and better every stream now. The the main thing is is that I've got something to show the client and go, look, mate, thanks for thanks for sticking with me and thanks for you know not blowing your nut that I've spent so long trying to do this model because, like I said, the baby popped out over Christmas, and that's really what I'm doing at the moment, man, is damage control um, and just trying to get my commission's done because I know I know that these people have been they've given me money and I've kept them waiting so foul lady Belvoir Tengu Mickey One Punch and praise the Omnisire thank you all for your follows and um yeah. I'm signing off now. 
I'll be back tomorrow or Wednesday. So let's get the let's get the raid on the go and see if Ashin's the internet legend acknowledges me or not. And thank you to everyone on YouTube. Um, anyone watching this back later? We had some new faces in. Joshua, Sage6, Alva, I know you're also on there. Um, I'd like to see you all back, if possible. And if not, well, it's been great anyway. All right, ladies and gents. Raid is commencing. On Ashins in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Laters. And now I've got the uh, weird YouTube thing to do as well. <laughs>